Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus here, another Feed the Beast Unhinged Let's Play video. So at the end of last episode, I had just managed to get my implosion compressor set up. Uh, I've been uh, slightly busy off camera, I've basically uh, completely finished remodelling my basement as you can see. All the walls are a nice uniform stone brick, all the floor is a fairly uniform stone. The, flo the floors are totally uniform uh, cobblestone. And also the same is uh, with my uh, set new basement room, with um, with my uh, implosion compressor. So uh, <clears throat> in this episode, I'm basically gonna keep working my wa my way towards uh, getting my what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, getting my uh, matter fabricator set up. It's quite an important stage uh, on the road to getting more and more iridium. Probably one of the best ways to still go to the end, but uh, it'd be nice to have a matter fabricator to create things out of nothing. So uh, I've been looking at some recipes. So uh, if we go towards the matter fabricator need a few things so uh, I think the main one is to actually um, get chrome chrome plates to make the highly advanced machine block another thing will be uh, we need to use the implosion compressor to make the iridium plates so I think we'll try and get both of those things done this episode so uh, off camera I have been making chrome da -da 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 -da. it takes it takes I'm not sure if I've got any rubies left but basically I've used um, the only way to make chrome so if I go to the uh, Go to not enough items and we go to chrome. The only way to make chrome dust is to industrial electrolyze nine ruby dust. Or there's also the avoravite dust, but that's kind of rare and not very not very easy to come across. So the only like kind of feasible way is to um, uh, electrolyze ruby dust. And you, to, to get ruby dust, you either pulverize up rubies. Or is there another way to do it? Oh, I did not realise you could rock crush it. Oh no, you only get one. I was about to say, uh, you can you can rock crush it at rubies, but you still only get one ruby dust. Or another way to get ruby dust is to actually industrial centrifuge redstone, which is what I've basically having to be doing, except it takes like six, almost six minutes to, uh, as you can see, I've, I've actually got some on the go here, redstoning up some, uh, uh, redstoning up, centrifuging up some redstone to, to create some more uh, ruby in future. Uh, one of the best ways to get rubies is actually just to stick a quarry over over the desert. I got a, pretty, got a pretty big over a desert biome. I've got a pretty big one running over there. So uh, hopefully that'll get me a few more rubies to make up back up while I've lost. But for now I've managed to get uh, ooh, eight chrome dust. And to turn chrome dust into a chrome ingot, you need to put it through an industrial blast furnace. But the heat capacity required to uh, blast uh, to smelt chrome dust is 1,700 Kelvin. Now we're going to go down and have go downstairs quickly, have a quick look at what my current setup is. So this is my industrial blast furnace at the moment, made out of one, two, three, four. Uh, but it basically is made out of all, all standard machine casings at the moment, and all that. And I've also then got two blocks of lava in the middle of it, and that gives me a maximum heat capacity of 1,520 Kelvin. Now that is nowhere near enough, uh, hot enough to. Oh, well, no, it, it's it's pretty close, but. The way you make um, an industrial blast furnace hotter is one of three, uh, one of two ways. You can either da -da 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 -da, upgrade the machine casing. So at the moment, I'm using all standard machine casings. If I want to increase the heat, I can reinforce up to reinforced machine casings, or and also in future you can also use advanced machine casings. But advanced machine casings are pretty expensive. They require chrome plates. They require data control circuits, which require iridium and emeralds and they also require a highly advanced machine block so basically a lot of chrome something that i don't really have a lot of too lot of right now but what i do have a lot of however is steel so i can make a lot of steel plus uh, reinforced machine casings now i think i've been reading it up on the wiki and i need to make um nine nine of these bad boys to increase the temperature enough to uh two three there we go. So uh, I already had all the stuff in my system off camera. So I need three of these standard machine, uh, twelve of these standard machine casings to. Oh uh, well, I need nine of these standard machine casings to increase the temperature up enough of my industrial blast furnace to be able to sm smelt chrome. So we're going to go over and do that now. We're just going to take out. I think literally all you do is just replace nine, nine of the reinforced machine casings with uh, standard machine casings. So we're just going to destroy all of these. We're going to put. Is this going to make nine? Yeah, we're just going to stick nine on top like so. There we go. Let's see if that's made it hot enough. 1,700 Kelvin. Woo! 
Ooh, there we go. So hopefully if we stick that in there now, yep, it's going to start smelting chrome dust. And now because this is hot enough, we can also smelt up other things such as aluminium in here. So I could, in theory, extend my... Um, uh, ME network down here, basically tell it to whenever I produce an aluminium, whenever an aluminium goes into my system, tell it to automatically smelt up using the industrial blast furnace. So yeah, so I've uh, upgraded my industrial blast furnace and before I move on, let me just explain the other, other ooh, let me just explain the other way of uh, increasing the temperature of the industrial blast furnace. Um, you basically have to use these canthal and nichrome heating coils, so there's a canthal one which basically requires refined iron aluminium ingots and chrome so that's actually fairly expensive considering that you actually need four I, I i i kid you not you need four to upgrade it to upgrade the the heat capacity and you can only make three from this recipe is an absolute piss take so you basically need six chrome before you can make these canthal heating cores and you have to use these first before you can use the night chrome heating cores which requires nickel ferrous and chrome and then you also again you need four of them so you need another four chrome to make four of those heating coils and um then you can then upgrade the heat even further. That's basically how you get the uh, the, the industrial blast furnace hot enough to um, what's the word I'm looking for? Smelt. I think the hottest thing, which is hot tungsten steel. But I don't think I quite need that yet. I'm not entirely sure what I need it for, but I'm fairly sure it's for something expensive, such as something that will be used for the fusion reactor. So uh, where was I? So next, what do we want? To, what did I want to do again? Um, what are we going to do this episode? Oh yes. The implosion compressor. So we want to make the iridium plate because for the mass fabricator, if we go here, we we could use iridium plates to make these energy flow circuits. Except the fact that um, you also need to make tungsten, which I don't have uh, something hot enough for. Or for these energy flow circuits, like I said, we can do them using the assembling machine. If we just show you the recipe, which is platinum plate and advanced circuits. So we're actually fairly cheap, which you can just do in the assembling machine here. But what we do need the iridium plate for, however, is the Lapatronic Energy Orb, which requires eight Lapatron crystals and an iridium plate. So to make that iridium plate, we need to use the implosion compressor, and to make oh, and um, we need to implosion compressor and iridium alloy ingot, which forms the iridium plate. So we'll, I'll show you the recipe for this iridium alloy ingot. So for that, you need four iridium plates, four advanced alloys, and an industrial diamond. So let's first of all make the iridium plates. Let's search for iridium. So we've got three there and one iridium ore. So I think the iridium ore, we need to chuck it through the compressor first, turn that into an iridium ingot. Uh, these iridium ingots here, we need to turn into iridium plates, which is going to shove in the plate bending machine. As you can see, they're turning into iridium plates. And then we literally just got to uh, the skeletons burning to death outside. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Um, so we've got literally just got to wait for this uh, one uh, iridium ore to be turned into an iridium ingot. There we go. Marvelous. If we go back to here, iridium. Wait for it to pop up into the system. There it is. We will pop one of you back in here. Now, do I have any advanced alloys sitting around? Advanced alloys. Excellent. I got nine knocking around. It's exactly what I need. So. We can probably craft this apart from... Oh yeah, I need to do that in a rolling machine, which I do have set up over over yonder. Do I have an industrial diamond? Ooh, I've even got an industrial diamond left over. Fantastic, everything's all set up for me. So where was the iridium? There's the four iridium I need. And then we also need the advanced alloys. So we need four of them. Great, everything's all set up for me. Making, making life on myself so much easier. So we've got the industrial diamond in the middle. Four iridium. Four advanced alloys and then if we click to craft it'll then cra craft the advanced if you've only got one left in the system if you want it to craft you basically have to click on it so there we go we've got the iridium alloy ingot all in place now the next part of the recipe for the uh, iridium iridium plate is um in the implosion compressor instead of using regular tnt you have to use what's called industrial tnt now that is basically just tnt with flint so nice and simple so if we uh if we shift click that in oops it is easy trying to energy I don't know why you I don't know why you'd want to make that in a um but uh, uh, sorry I'm, just, I'm getting I'm getting distracted so I TNT can we shift that in place so we'll make four industrial TNT which is exactly as much as we need I think I oh, know we need eight so we need to make some TNT first um I'm confusing myself right TNT shift click um one two three so we make sure we got enough of you in there then we need the I TNT get four more of you 
There we go, so now we have the 8 industrial TNT and the Iridium Alloy Ingot for us to go down and have a play around the Implosion Compressor as it's now set up uh, after the uh, last last episode. So now I think, in theory, we could actually get the Matter Fabricator built by the end of this episode and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm progressing on fairly quickly here, so if we, uh, so we put the industrial TNT in the bottom there and then we put the Iridium Alloy, alloy Ingot, you hear an explosion, explosion noise and there we go, we have one Iridium Plate and some Dark Ashes, which I can't remember the use for the Dark Ashes, but uh, hey-ho. Does this show the... Um, now I've got this one here. No, it doesn't, it doesn't show the... Um, some of these machines, it shows you the... Um, sort of the, the reinforced machine casings around the side, but for some reason the uh, the standard machine case, the Industrial Blast Furnace doesn't show it, maybe because it's such a kind of a, a big variety of... Uh, so we've got two Chrome Ingots already. Oh, apparently we've got insufficient energy. That's weird. Is it refilling? Is it because I just used the, um, might be because I just used the, yeah, that's weird. Insufficient energy line. That's really weird. It keeps stopping. Um, let's have a look at my, my MFE's fine. That's really bizarre. Why does it keep saying that? Um, I'm going to go grab that MFE that I've got spare upstairs because that's kind of freaking out a little bit right now. So, uh, I know I've got, I know I've got a spare MFE, so, uh, da -da 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 -da, if we run over here. We search for MFE. There we go. Yeah, the industrial bath furnace seems to be fairly fickle in terms of. Uh, let me just make sure I've got spare some spare glass fiber cable. Got one spare. Oh, great. Um, I'm going, I think I'm going to need to do a, bit, a little bit of rearrangement. So if we uh, run down here, see if it's. Uh, is it smelting yet? Nope, it's still having a little mini freak out. So if we extend you like that and then take you out like so. It's not gonna. Ooh, here we go. So if we put the MFE, say, um, it's not what I want either. Let's uh, move you to there, then have you coming out like. Have the MFE coming out like that. Then what direction it needs to come out? That direction. So hopefully it's got its own MFE there. That will uh, take a few seconds to charge up. But uh, right, hang on. Let me just. Break that for a second. Let that charge up, full of full of juice. We'll come back down in a second, uh, hopefully, and then we'll get the chrome uh, smelting again. It's basically that indu industrial blast furnace is really fickle to kind of the uh, the amount of um, that's what I'm looking for, the amount of energy that you've got knocking around your system. So uh, we'll, we'll put these back in the system for now. So where were we with the? So for the um, for the lapatronic energy crystal, we need to make eight eight lapatron crystals now. Now, do we have? Okay, that's, that's, that, that, that's kind of freaking out a little bit. Uh, Lapatron crystal. Oh, I need to make some circuits. Let's, so let's make... How many, how many do we need? We needed eight. We need 16 circuits. So let's tell my system to craft 16 circuits. See if it can make them. How, how quickly it can make them. I think it might have to smell some stuff up. Was it, was it missed? It? So I'm basically missing uh, copper cables and rubber bars. So I think it's got to smelt some rubber bars for me. Yes, it has. Um, while we're at it... Um, so we're gonna we're gonna start on the um, the energy flow circuit. So we're gonna do, so to do this, we're gonna need some more Lapatron crystals and a process circuit board. So we're gonna need to make four of these process circuit boards first. So I think I'm do I have four platinum in the system? Platinum. Yes, I do. So we're gonna turn these into platinum bars. Then how many advanced circuits do I need for that? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Wrong thing. So I'm going to need some more Lapatron crystals. So I need four more advanced circuits plus um, Lapatron crystals. Da, 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 da. What am I thinking of? Lapatron crystals require two more circuits each. So we need eight more. Let's just craft ten. Why the hell not? Now can I make my Lapatron crystals? Nope, because uh, the Lapis is having a little mini freak out. One. Okay, so apparently I can only make one. It's uh, it's it's, ha it's having a craft rather a lot of things. Um, let's go down and see if uh, my uh, MFE down there is filled up a little bit. So let's get glass fiber cables. There we go. Two glass fiber cables. Excellent. Eat an apple. Why the hell not? I'm running. Well, I'm not running low on health. I just uh, I was running a little bit low on health. Fly back down here. Is that. It's starting to fill up, so I think we I think it's safe to uh, hook you back up now. It still says insufficient energy line for some bizarre reason, although it doesn't seem to be too bad now. Is that draining power? Very slowly, not a lot. 
So uh, at least at least it's not stopping this time. So we're just going to uh, let that continue on. Hopefully, I haven't lost a, a chrome ingot in there somewhere. I think there's one just like stuck in the system. So uh, hopefully, we'll get six more out of that. Now, how are we doing for uh, rubber? Is there anything in the powered furnace? Um, let's just speed this whole process along by uh, uh, actually saying that. That's uh, I don't I don't want to freak the system out. So. Um, so we've got one Lapatron crystal right now. Is there anything else I can build? Oh, how do we build the teleporters? So that requires either... How many diamonds have I got? 24. I've got loads of diamonds, so the teleporters aren't too much of a problem. So for that, I need to use advanced machine blocks, which does require me to use coal. Uh, I do have coal dust. Excellent. So what do I need for the advanced machine blocks? So I need machine block, advanced alloys, and carbon plates. So I need two, two advanced, two advanced machine blocks. So that shouldn't be too difficult. Carbon plates. Um, one, two, three, four. Hang on. Let me, let me just add this up. I'm, I'm just trying to add this up in my head. So uh, I need two carbon plates per advanced machine. Oh, ah! Freaking out. Okay, I'm freaking out a little bit now. So okay, so I need two advanced machine blocks because I need two teleporters. I need. So I need four carbon plates. So I need four raw carbon mesh, so I need eight raw carbon fiber. So I need 32, 32 of, uh, okay, so I've got four of them so far. I need eight of them all together, so we just need to make four more. There we go. Why did I suddenly make 28 and use up? Oh my god, that was so retarded. <laughs> oh my god, I accidentally uh, right clicked and it basically just crafted every single one of my system. Oops a daisy, never mind. At least I have plenty of uh, carbon mesh now. So then I need to uh, turn all them into uh, raw carbon mesh and start putting them through my compressor. So yeah, I think I think the episode of this, uh, I think the title of this episode is literally just going to be upgrades, as I'm just like sort of upgrading everything and getting, well, I don't know, it's not really upgrades, it's just kind of like assembling the parts for my matter fabricator, and uh, so how are we doing for the Lapatron crystals? Oh my god, uh, Lapis. One, two, we're almost there, it's, 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 it's still crafting circuits, so uh, we'll just chuck some Lapatron crystals back in the system for now. Uh, what else? What else are we getting on with? So, what's a frequency transmitter? Oh, bloody, that's more electronic circuits. I should, really should have smelted up a load of rubber before, uh, before this episode began. Right, I'm I'm just going to make make things go a little bit quicker. We grab a whole load of rubber, stick that in this furnace, get it smelting up rubber, and then it can just utilise that as well. Is it only any, any sort of crap puts a certain amount of rubber in there? But this will just uh, start making rubber for me as well, which is pretty cool. Um, what else did I need? So I need more advanced circuits. Um, for the teleporters and so yeah um, I'm on the way to making the advanced machine blocks uh, the energy flow circuits where was I with that so I was making the platinum plates but that does require advanced circuits how many advanced, how many advanced circuits have I got Oop. circuits so I've got seven advanced circuits so I can at, I can at least make the um, the energy flow circuits so uh, let's make the process circuit board uh, I need the assembly machine so I need one, two, three, four of you, and then I also need. Let's not put cap caps locks on. So I need my platinum plates. Oop. Let's put these in my assembling machine. See if it starts to make my uh, advanced circuit boards, which it is. And then we also need lapron crystals to uh, turn them into. Uh... So I'm basically just heavily reliant on uh, on circuits right now, sir. Circuits. So I'm making. I'm, I'm making circuits. I'm getting there. Let's just keep turning rubber into. Uh, Keep making lots of rubber. I think I need rubber. So I'm just going to basically make up a load of rubber. There we go. So yeah, it's just it's also making the refined iron plates as well. Oh, right. That's what I'm missing. I'm missing refined iron. That also helps. Um, so let's get some iron. We'll take we'll take this rubber out of here now. I think I've, I think I've got, I think I've got enough rubber enough rubber on the way now. So uh, looks like we need refined iron instead. Uh, where were we? Yes. Um, so I'm currently making. Oh, that, that's apparently taking a little while. So uh, 
not the most. So, and yeah, you can also see how slow this industrial centr centrifuge is of making ruby dust. I've basically been recording for almost 20 minutes now, and it, all it's made is three ruby dust, so kind of slow. I'm making plenty of raw carbon mesh, so I'm just wondering if I can make my two advanced machine blocks. Um, can I do that? Do, do, do. Well, where am I? Oh no, I need uh, the um. Oh bollocks! I need more refined iron. It's now refined iron that I'm short of. Oh god damn it! At least it's making. At least it's making it. So uh, where 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 was I? Can I get back to making lapton crystals? That was weird. That uh, I'm getting confused. Ah! God damn it! Not enough items. Stop freaking out. The problem with having all these conflicting mods here. Uh, lapis. Do we have any um, sapphires left? Yes, we do. Use up all my sapphires before using diamonds. So, can I make my lapatronic energy? I can. One lapatronic energy orb. Woo! So that's one part. That's one part of the industrial. Uh, well, one part of the matter fabricator made. So, uh, run away to making the energy flow circuits. Well, so it's yes. I need three more lapatron crystals for that. So, uh, move along. So, if we shift click. Um, oh yeah, I need to make energy crystals, don't I? Um, and I'm out. I'm out of rubies, but good job I've got. Uh, good job I've got diamonds. So one, two, three, and then we need to make. Uh... Oh, where's the lapis? Lapis! God damn it! One, two. Oh, I'm missing a circuit. Oh, great! So I need one more circuit. Um, circuit. Raff one more of you. Oh, make two. Why the hell not? You made it? I don't know. Why is everything going wrong? Um, how's my sound machine doing? So I've made one of my process circuit boards. Excellent. My wall. I've, I've almost finished making up all that raw carbon mesh. Where's, that? where's, where's, where's some coal? I need to chuck some more of you through my pulverizer. I just realised I used all my car, all my uh, powdered carbon circuit. There we go. So there's one last lapatron crystal. Just waiting for the circuit boards to process now. So I think that's all the lapatron crystals I need to make. So where was the teleporter? So frequency transmitter. Uh, yes, I need to make. Uh, how many? Do I need one of them? So I need two frequency transmitters. So I need two more circuits. Begin. Uh, what else do I need for the teleporter? So I think did I make? Oh no, I need to make um, two advanced machine, two two machine blocks. So. Uh, two of you start you off as well uh, anything else oh yeah I need to make some glass fiber cable um, duh, 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 duh. chuck a load of you in the system use up another diamond how many diamonds I got left 20 diamonds loads of diamonds I'm swimming in diamonds um, oh yeah I need to make titanium do I have any titanium oh great no I've got like bugger all titanium bauxite uh, and we also need some cells how many have we got none so we're going to have to craft a load of uh, Craft layer cells as well. Hopefully that shouldn't take too long. It should be uh Oh, there's a creeper outside. That's kind of terrifying. Whew. Uh so yeah, we need to run downstairs and hopefully um Just wondering if there's any spare cells in my industrial and uh, electrolyzer downstairs. How's the industrial blast furnace getting on? There we go, six chrome ingots. Do we have any spare cells? Excellent, we've got loads of spare cells in here. So we're we're gonna need to make up some more titanium. We need four altogether. Or do we need eight? We need we need eight titanium. That's going to take a little while. Um, yeah, how how am, I, how am I doing? So I've got this, I've got the chrome now. Chrome. Well, that's a chrome. Oh right, I mean uh, craftable items. That always that that always helps. So there's the two chrome. I need to make these into plates. Once I've got I've got some free uh, free some, some free space. So where are, my, where are my components? Let's finish off making the teleporters before the end of this episode. So we need to make one, t two of you. Can I make my teleporters? No, what am I missing? Oh, uh, advanced. So I'm missing advanced machine blocks, which apparently I haven't made. So one, two. And then I also need to make uh, some more circuits. So let's just make ten. Why the hell not? Uh... I can't make my highly advanced. So let's make two two steel machine holes. I've actually got them. Uh, have I got them already made? Hang on, steel. Yes, I have. I have some of them already made. So uh, all I'm literally waiting on is some titanium now. I think is the uh, the worst part. 
Um, anything else? I hear a zombie. A zomble. Me one. Go away. You're annoying me and my viewers. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to... Because basically I, I've just realised that I need to uh, electrolyze up a load of bauxite to uh, create some titanium. Um, that's going to that's gonna take a little while. Apparently I've got insufficient energy. Oh, great. That's exactly what I need. So, uh, oh, actually saying that, I could connect you up like so. And then basically have my electrolyzer and my... Um, has that got any power? It should have power. There we go. It's, I, think, I think it's doing it now. Yeah, I'm going to have my industrial blast furnace and my industrial electrolyzer running off this MFE because I'm never really using both of these at the same time. I probably want to have both of them running off a dedicated MFE at some point, but uh, for now it's fine. But yeah, so you know, I'm, get, I'm getting somewhere. I've uh, I've almost finished making all the components of my math fabricator. Like I said, it's basically just really just waiting on the um, on the bauxite to make titanium now, but. Uh, is there anything else I can make? Did I finish making the teleporters? Teleporters. No, I didn't, I didn't quite finish making the teleporters. Can I make them now? One. What am I missing, what am I missing now? Oh, a diamond. So uh, I'm going to have to use an ordinary diamond. There we go. There's two teleporters. So what have we got? So, oh, yes. The energy flow circuits. Still haven't quite finished making them, which apparently is taking a little while. So, uh, yeah, apparently this, this recipe takes a little while. So I've almost finished making the energy flow circuits. I finished making finished making the Laptronic Energy Orb, I finished making the Teleporters, I can't make the highly advanced machine block until I finish making enough titanium, so uh, I think I think, uh, I think I'll sign it for the next episode, but um, so in the next episode probably what I'm going to do is, if I just run through it before I round off the video here, so I've got two new boilers, two brand new boilers set up here, both running at 1000 degrees C, very nice indeed, so what I'm probably going to do is get a couple more of these steam turbines set up just dedicated so forget like one here and one here basically what I'm gonna have them do is two dedicated steam boilers um, powering my my math fabricator so in the next episode I'll basically finish putting together the math fabricator make the two extra steam turbine housings and the steam turbine blades get them all set up and then basically start uh, making energy also probably what I'll do is get a recycler on the go so what I'll probably do is instead of um, having all the cobblestone getting voided off back at um, uh, back at the what's the, what's the word I'm looking for back at each of the quarries, probably what I'll have a, probably what I'll do is move this item tesseract across one, um, or what I could do is then or just have the um, have the cobblestone um, just basically being fed directly into uh, the recycler. So just have it have it have it fed into the recycler. Have it producing scrap. Have that producing scrap boxes. As scrap boxes are, um, what's the word we call scrap boxes? Uh, are a more efficient way of producing. Um, ugh, I'm getting, I'm getting my twisted over my words here. Scrap boxes are a far more efficient way of uh, powering your matter fabricator. It's a far more efficient catalyst over just ordinary scrap. So probably what I'll have it do is just. I, uh, I'm, I'm just wondering if I can tell my system to automatically craft uh, scrap uh, any scrap into scrap boxes before being fed into um, into the match fabricator. I'm going to have to look that up. Or basically, what I just have to do is have um, what's it called an auto an auto crafting table set up to the ME system, which is basically just going to auto craft. Um, scrap boxes from scrap every time one's produced so that'd be pretty cool so yeah that's uh, something for next episode is to finish off building my matter fabricator uh, and also to get it set up and also get a recycler set up basically producing cobbles uh, basically recycling cobblestone and also uh, getting something set up to automatically craft um, uh, scrap boxes if you can think of a way of doing that through ME that'd be fantastic but I'm going to leave the video there thanks for watching everybody as always please uh, com comment on my videos to let me know what I'm doing well and what I'm not doing well if you like my content it's always nice to see you like and favorite my videos if uh, this is the first time to my channel it's always nice to see you hit that subscribe button to show me you want to see more of my content in the future and again thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time goodbye